Semifinals of the 2022 NCAA Division II Men's Soccer Championships. Lake Erie taking the 5-2 loss to the number one seed Franklin Pierce in the first semifinal match. Joining us in the postgame press conference, head coach Louis Rocco, along with student athletes Tomas Fernandez and Teddy Baker. Uh, congratulations on a great season, coach. Uh, you ran in a, to quite the butts saw today in Franklin Pierce. Uh, your thoughts? Your thoughts on the match? Um, yeah, I think. For us going into it, we knew they were going to be a good team. They're very talented. Um, you know, they have a lot of exceptional players, and I knew it was going to be a pretty big challenge, pretty big task for us. Um, and I think we came out and uh, had to get into the game a little bit, took us a little bit, um, had to do a couple things maybe differently than we had originally planned. Um, and then, you know, kind of gave away um, two goals and, and, how to start fighting and, and trying to get back into it. And I thought when we got the first one at the beginning of the second half, I thought um, I thought it was going to change. And but they showed, you know, showed their quality because they were able to get a goal almost immediately back and and um, almost changed the momentum of the game at that point. And then it was it was kind of us up against it again. So um, I think our guys, you know, we competed. We we did what we could. I'm proud of them. Proud of them for getting to this place um, to this point. Um, you know, it's the first time we've been here as a school, so um, it's a great experience for us, and, and hopefully this is just the first trip of many. <coughs> Teddy, you have that goal that made it 2-1 early on in the second half to try to get back into the match. Yeah. You know, talk about you know, the potential there of being able to shift the tide and start making it more of a match. Yeah, I feel like we always knew that if we uh, could impose our attacking threat and really uh, go at them in the second half. We sort of had nothing to lose almost. We sort of said to ourselves at halftime, we know we have the quality, to, uh, that we possess the quality to go and attack them. And I felt like in the second half we showed that. And we weren't, we weren't, we're not scared of any team at the end of the day. And I thought we really showed our, our bravery and our ambition as a team. And I did think, yeah, like you said, I thought we had a chance once we scored. We kept pushing and we kept pushing. It's just sometimes you have to hold your hands up and say that the quality of the team, the opposition we were against were superb today. And you have to just hold your hands up sometimes. Tomas, even despite the goals, it was obvious that the team had had the great pace to be able to keep up with with uh, attacking offense. Uh, talk about the defense's performance and, and being able to to stay out there and, and run with them for full ninety. Like we are a very good team in defense, and we were so hard. But they are a very good team too. They have a very good forwards, and we knew that it was it was going to be a very good uh, very good. Uh, game, it was gonna be difficult, and the score maybe five two. It doesn't show like five goals. We don't deserve it, maybe, but in general, I'm proud of my team. Yeah. We were so hard in defense. They have probably one of the best forwards in in the conference or in the nationals in general, and like. Nothing to say more like than proud of my defense, proud of my midfielders, and they defend like the Lions too. And in general, all the forwards, our forwards, they were running all the game, defending too. And we tried to keep pressing all the time. We, we were not scared about it. The score was not in favor, but we tried all our best to, to get it. Coach, you, you touched on the, the goal you guys had early in the second half and how that kind of changed momentum. Can you touch on the, the highs and lows of that minute where you, know, you guys were right back in the game and then Franklin Pierce was able to respond? Yeah, I think so. One of the things we talk about quite often is um, like uh, we talk about winning the fives, okay? And it's, you know, first five of a half, last five of a half, and five minutes after goal scored. And I think, you know, we got to that point we conceded, and I was like, we're right back in this. And I know for them, um, you know, they haven't maybe had too many challenges. And um, so I thought, hey, this is it. Like, we're back into this. Um, you know, let's win the next five minutes. Let's be good there. But I think it was basically snapping your fingers and it was like, okay, like they could show just what they're capable of. Um, and then I think when that happened, it was like, okay, how are we going to get back into it? This is... This is going to be a task for us, but I, I think we, when we got that goal, like I said, I think it was for us. We were, I think, it put it right back in into the game, and and I think we were on the sideline. I think they were like, yeah, we can do this. And you know, two nothing is a dangerous lead at halftime. We got the first back. I was like, oh, everything's shifting towards us. But before we could really get it going, they were able to answer. And uh, this 
kind of goes for any or all of you. Uh, just the season in general, kind of a, a Cinderella run, particularly in this national tournament for you guys. Um, how would you describe this run that you guys were able to put together? Uh, I can answer. Uh, I feel like coming from a, like from England, where I'm from, and coming out here and thinking of the the quality and the levels of the team. We always knew last year. I feel like we felt like we were a bit hard done by last year in the national. I felt like we could have advanced a lot further. And I feel like from the from the start of the season, I feel like we always knew we had the ability to go and compete against the bigger schools, the bigger teams. And I know the team had great like passion and motivation to keep going, to keep winning, to keep facing the adversity that we showed at the start of the season and go at it with a positive ambition to go and try and win the games. And I feel like we got to this point from our belief, no matter what, no matter the scenarios we're in, you could see in the game today that even though we were 4-1 four, four, four down, 4-2 four down, we kept going, we kept attacking, we kept believing in each other. No one, no one on the team uh, dies. We never die off in the team. And I feel like throughout the season, this uh, the Cinderella sun, uh, run, like you said, it show, it just shows how big of a like personality I feel like our team and our school has to really like compete with the big sc the bigger schools with the bigger money the more like uh, po uh like popularity I would say and I feel like uh, I'm ri I'm incredibly proud of everyone our coaches the everyone that's got us here today I'm incredibly proud of us. Um, probably one of our strong points is that like, we are all together we are like a family and we are going in the same way. And that's the reason that we are here because our games to arrive here, they were not easy. We had penalty kicks um, two times in two games and yeah. it was so difficult to arrive here for us. But with this challenge, we were more strong every game. Than, and now we are all like a family together. I'm proud of them. Like It's true that we lost, but we didn't expect to be here and probably for us, that's like a trophy to like. Yeah, I don't feel like yeah. Here. I don't feel like anyone expected us to be here in the first place. So everything that we kept going, we kept building the momentum throughout the season. Like Tomas said, I feel like no one expected us to be where we were today, and I feel like we we gave a proud show into our school and what we're really are about. Who you mentioned earlier, first time that Lake Erie's been at this spot in the postseason. Talk about the significance of having arrived at this moment for your program. Yeah, I think for us. Um, you know, this is, Teddy kind of alluded to it, but, you know, we're not the biggest school and, and we're not the most powerful and, and all that. So for, you know, we've kind of joked around that we're a little Lake Erie. I think we got, you know, 800 students and, and we're a smaller school. So um, for us, it's just, yeah, showing that on the soccer side that we can be here and, and we can compete with anybody. I think, um, you know, it's also showing that a, a small school like us can, can get to this point. So, um, you know, I think we'll continue to do what always got us here, and, and that's just be Lake Erie. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to really drastically change who we are, what we stand for, what we're about. We'll just continue to always be who we are, and that's what's gotten us to this point. That's it, Coach Lee Rocco, along with student athletes Teddy Baker and Tomas Fernandez. Lake Erie uh, sees their season end with 5 2 loss to Franklin Pierce in the semifinal of the NCAA Division II Men's Soccer Championships. Gentlemen, congratulations on a great season. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.